Um, you kind of don't want to have to run your, uh, excuse me, around. As you near the apparition, you are overcome suddenly by a powerful anxiety that sits like a stone in your stomach. The feeling is not quite real. The recollection of an emotion, rather than the emotion itself, that wrenches your insights nevertheless. The apparition's brow is tensed, a look of concern plain across its face. The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. My mind has been elsewhere. Oh? And what troubles you? Pain in your stomach deepens. You feel for a moment as though you are about to be sick. Your mouth has gone dry. Forgive me, Eminence. I wish to leave the order. The man folds his fingers together, presses them to his mouth. It's heartful. You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? The people we intended to convert, they committed unspeakable acts, sacrifices, mutilation. Hmm. It's an argument. My family has not taken my new faith well, they no longer speak to me. I've done something unforgivable. We were attacked on my last mission. The people we intended to convert. The apparition exhales slowly and its lips pressed together. A sympathetic report in its eyes places its hand on your shoulder. These are the ways of the heathen world. Surely, the gods would do better to destroy us all and start anew. <laughs> Perhaps they would. It may come to that one day. This is why we must not fail. The heathens are beyond the gods' reach. Hmm. They do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods, so that the gods may heal their souls. Is such a thing possible? I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too choose to remain hmm. there is no greater calling than the one we have chosen neither words nor wealth nor battle will end this suffering only the gods will you give them that chance the knot in your stomach seems to loosen all at once and anxiety is replaced with something else entirely something warm and soothing this is something you know you can never repay as the vision fades, you start to become cognizant of the many odd looks aimed in your direction. Your last response echoes in your mind. I will. How do you do? Excuse me, but I've been looking for you. You're the one who lifted a curse on Heritage Hill. My lady, who wishes to remain anonymous, has entrusted me with bringing you this pistol. It belonged to a dear friend of hers who has lost her curse. For your part of reclaiming Heritage Hill, my lady wishes you to have it. Here, it may serve you well in battle. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Sankt Garam Spark, added to my inventory. Now I must be off. Farewell. Hmm. What a nice and simple melody in the background. I like it. Not always do you have to have something. Sang the Edwin's Redeemer, Soulbound, Great Joy, Two Handed. I actually have a nice Two Handed Sword already. I think inventory things will be done as usual after I'm finished with my playing. Honestly, such management things are kind of boring to watch. Then again, if. Uh, if you actually want to see me going through my inventory and deciding what sort of equipment to use for once or twice, just let me know, you know? I'm, it's not like I'm against it, it's just that I uh, kinda don't feel the need to show that off all the time. It's kind of boring, in my uh, personal opinion. Hail and well met. I know where she is, but apparently I don't even need to say hello to her people. Imagine that situation, if you were going in there, this is a very special place. The people downstairs are, you know, probably paid rather well to keep uh, people outside. If you just storm in here, you go upstairs like you belong here, with nobody really knowing about you much. Honestly, 
I would murder myself for being such an hateful asshole about it. If you say so. Please open that lock for me. Got it done. Nice, free XP. That's actually the funny thing. That too is something that is only explainable by gaming gaming logic. Nobody in the whole wide world has a problem if I go ahead and um, you know look at their um, locked shelf and I see like oh there's a lock here and I'm gonna take my little lock pick out and start opening it. So uh, she's basically just standing there, you know, having locked her shelf. She sees me go over to that shelf, lock pick in hand. Starting picking the lock off her shelf. She's like, yeah, that's not a problem. But as soon as I'm now opening this, then she would have a problem with that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Game logic. Sometimes it's uh, a fun little thing to have. Hmm. This woman clutches a thick stack of parchment with spindly wrinkled fingers. Their flesh stretched thin to near translucence of extreme age. Gossamer veil over pale blue veins. Ink splotches and candle burns dot and stripe her hands like a quilt patterned after some great indescribable truth. She does not look up from her reading. So the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. Bitch, please, that's not a fucking detail. That's the talk of the town. Everybody, including the birds, the beasts, and uh, probably the cows, are screaming it from every bloody corner that someone is running around and doing shit in Cad Noir. So don't even pretend that there is some sort of detail that you had to look up for. Also, my surprised expression has not need to be attractive. It is the only there to make sure that you know that I am surprised that you apparently feel the need to put down the poor little messenger business. Do you know how hard those people are working, you know? That's, you know that whole saying about don't shoot the messenger? That's, that is the same because people have a tendency to shoot the fucking messenger. Now imagine why that is not necessarily a nice profession, old woman. No frowns, scratching the back of his neck. Is that true? Now spies of us don't miss much. And this yeah. fiasco in the sanitarium that you seem to have gotten yourself into the middle of. What in blazes possessed you to stir that nest of trouble? Well, to put it mildly, I am investigating a strange group. Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. Tell me about it. I have pain in my neck since very early on. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. Hmm. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. Mm -hmm. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the leaden key? Well, I have long since abandoned any hope that I can reverse this awakening. So I ran across a man in one of the ruins. It's important that I find him again. She closes her eyes. The lids flicker. Then her face goes still. And her mouth parts. Little more than a sliver. The hand briefly drops open, spinning some of her parchment to the ground. Pages wafting around her legs like the leaves of a dying tree. Her fleshy eyelids peel back. Her gaze is immediately upon you. The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand hmm. Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men. Aora has ever known. Oh, 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 you just did something to my mind, didn't you? I don't appreciate people invading my mind. There's lots of horrible stuff in there that you don't want to know about. Ah, 
also Sears X Arcanon. Well, that's the name. So, how do I know? Because you have seen his face, hmm. and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems. It must have been a special occasion. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, now let me show you what I mean when I'm talking about catching details. How do you know that what he's wearing is a his personal ceremonial garb? Because if that were common knowledge, then uh, that uh, would be quite strange, wouldn't it be? Interesting, interesting woman. You seem to have a bit more knowledge of this person in particular than you might want to let on there. But what can you tell me then about more him? More than most, though very few yes, would yes. know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. Hmm. The leaden key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. Oh, oh, oh. Which also means he's fucking 2,000 years old at this point. But scraps of evidence exist, suggest that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same oh, man. Shit. Awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes. Jesus the Christ. He orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Woodica's favored. Mm -hmm. And that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. Isn't that the whole thing about gods anyway? They are like, uh, I don't care about your rules. I'm making the rules now because I'm God. And uh, my rule is that my guy is a lot better than your guy. Yes, gods are simple beings. I mean, yeah, the whole idea of prophets just means that God has taken one particular human being and uh, basically putting him above everybody else. So yeah, favoritism is basically God's plaything. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Hmm. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. Right, though. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. Yeah, but there's a difference between having not much in the way of pity and uh, auntie taking over somebody's body for shits and giggles only to be like, well, kill yourself. And then going like, haha, he actually did it. I mean, imagine that, yeah? If your only pastime in life is basically... Uh, Ah, I'm bored. Hmm, what could I do today? Oh, there's a person with a weak soul. Hmm. Let me take the over's body. And then from the other body's perspective, you look down like, hmm, nice body you have here. Would be a shame if somebody ran it off a cliff, wouldn't it be? Starts running. <laughs> Wee! Back in your own body. Hey, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Something like this. He hmm. is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. <laughs> and once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. I kind of figured that much already. He didn't seem like he would care much for the empathetic human side of things and more like uh, I have my goal I will go for my goal and if uh, you could even have the potential to stand in my way or annoy me while I'm trying to do my job I will let gladly murder you so how do you know so much about tears the little lady way I come by all my knowledge exhaustive research spying bribery Perhaps some less savory measures. Mm -hmm. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos, there is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks mm -hmm. far too well. Mm -hmm. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now. 
though I believe they were many. Yeah, if he has some grand scheme going on, he's probably involved in many, many things, and probably not even himself. He's probably just jumping bodies and doing stuff. I mean, that's an ideal murder tool, isn't it? Basically, imagine you wanted to murder a king, for example. A tyrant, yeah, let's make it actually a good heroic story. So, Theos could just, you know, get close to the palace through taking off a job close by, or even inside, you know, in lower position, like in the stables or something. Shouldn't be that hard to get a position like this, and even if not, you can just stay around and um, keep watch who goes and comes. So, then he would have to find somebody with a weak soul. That shouldn't be that hard to find. I don't think many people actually have a strong soul or know how to make their soul strong, so chances are you will find somebody with relative ease. Then he can take that person over, and then he can get his first view inside. Because let's assume that he takes somebody with a low position. Like, you know, maybe he starts with a stable boy. Then he can take a look around and maybe find another person. That have higher up the chain. Maybe a cook or something. Maybe somebody actually access to the main structures of the keep. And so he can work his way around until he's maybe yeah, take over a personal guard or something. Which he can then make murder the king. Some confine, for example, a friend maybe. A troll or many options that he can use there. So what else is there to know about the Latin key? Little, I'm afraid. Hmm. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. Clever. They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in, or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know. If you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. Well, people like groups and, uh... That's crazy, they all have the states. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary. And he does not fail. So, what do you want Keep from me? Keep me informed. The Leaden Key has been busy lately, hmm. and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Yeah, but are you going to help me? Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. Hmm. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as mm -hmm, we learn mm -hmm. it, and provide you with what assistance I can. Very well, that seems like a reasonable deal if for the moment. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Oh, I have yes. questions. Tell me more about the Dunrit Row. All the things there are to know in this world, and you ask me about work. Well, Dear Wood sorry. is a rebel country. Conflict is in its blood. If you think a few guards posted in our cities keep chaos at bay, you are very new to town indeed. I am so much bloody used, you know, with people uh, doing work around me, and uh, so work is basically the one thing I usually use in, con in uh, conversation, you know? We are Deerwood Sorry. Sorry. Cypher investigators, of course. But what we really are you, is the its last barrier fantasy equivalent anarchy. of the Scooby game, yes? People are more at ease when they believe they are watched over by someone more enlightened than they are. It pacifies them. So that is the image we foster. That's an interesting perspective there. I'm not agreeing totally with that. And we do try to be enlightened for their sake. Hmm. The knowledge we gather here is Deerwood's standing army in many ways. We learn what's vital and we act on it while Deerwood sleeps, blissfully unaware of the terrifying truths all around them. I wish I could tell people the things I know sometimes. Yeah, but better not to do is, that. I don't think many of them could bear it. Honestly, as much as I hate that uh, argument that uh, the state is better of not telling its people everything, that is actually something I believe to be somewhat true. 
there are many many things that people just sleep better not knowing and uh, as long as they are kept in the dark for good reasoning i'm actually somewhat okay with that the problem is however that would mean that you have to trust your stay to be you know reasonable with what he's keeping from you and doing it out of good reasoning good concern for your well-being and uh, how often is that actually the case you know <laughs> oh boy how did you come to be here me i started this place in a different time under a different duke mm -hmm. i impressed the duke with my research and my work ethic and he became possessed of the notion that I would be ideal to lead a secret network of gifted investigators. I don't know how such an idea got into his head. Yes, because you planted it there, I would assume. So how old precisely? She gives you a half of the gasp and covers her mouth with her fingers. You wicked woman, where are your manners? Are you raised without a shred of decency? I lost count ages ago. Hmm. Such a strange thing to celebrate, getting closer to death. I know, it's funny, oh, isn't it? I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it, I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. Get some dedication to her craft. There was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. <laughs> I must have gone soft with age. Anas, yeah. I know people like that. Some people. Then again, people that can actually joke about that are usually on the better side of things. Care more about the people who actually keep their shut shots to themselves and, uh, you know, prefer the knife in the dark. And not so much the wit, the cut of the tongue. Are you psychic? If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. Aww. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Yeah, but I can also see what was past, so that's a problem. Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. <laughs> a tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. You said you don't know what will you happen. You said I was talented. I don't. Least not that I can trust. Hmm. Good and point. with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. And what's A there? quiet day at home. Ah, she gets to flip behind her toward a small table, and a queer smile finds its way across her face. <laughs> quiet day at home. Mr. Lord Webb. There was... What happened to him? He believed in dying with dignity. Hmm. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. Hmm. We saw the world very differently, he and I. He... But it was good to hmm, me. Please learn your lesson. Sometimes, please. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yes? There's something I can tell you about the Latin Keys operations. Well, let's hear it. Well, I found Sayers, X, and some something. I'm not good with names, especially not games names like this. I found Sayers in Brackenbury Sanatorium, impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion of any man. See, forgive me. It is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. Pretty damn sure, yes. Eyebrows rise. Two painted lines of a baron. Laughing skin, avoid letters of wrinkles upon wrinkles. <laughs> he did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any hmm. luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. That does not sound very promising, though, does it? News of yours makes sense, of course. 
To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, mm -hmm. we may be in for something on a much larger scale. If the Leaden Key is as big as you're supposing it to be, then yeah, they're probably not just going to dabble in if some we nonsense. Can learn more about their goals and methods. Perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. Also, did you know the Griffin Tower and Heritage Shell contains an ancient machine machinery that can control the flow of souls that then get activated it? This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. Yeah, I mean, he's using the, the machines. The key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. Mm -hmm. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. No, please, do me the favor. Think about it. Give me an answer. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. Well, then you might be interested to know that the Dead Key is manipulating a group of Ingwife and machines that span the country and it seems to be causing the Holoborn epidemic. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. Hmm. How naive I've been. Indeed, because by everything you said, and the fact that they are partly involved in history and manipulation of such, with their leader at the forefront, how is that anyway too extreme for them? The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Anguithin technology to engineer Widewind's legacy, and they want people to blame Animancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hmm. hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Animancy. When they finish, hmm. he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. Yeah, we're totally going to mess up the plans, aren't we? I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Hmm. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public. Come on, I'm not the public. Which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible. Yeah, the but the Knights are already my friends. From House Dominel. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. Yes? Talk to Lady Web at Hadrothouse. Inform Lady Web about the Lenin Gay to get invited to join one of the NMS's hearing delegations.